If you want relationship goals, look no further than this former first couple. I am thrilled to be here today alongside the vice president and my favorite person here, Jill Biden. Uh, along yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Michelle and Barack made us believe in love. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all the moments that show us not only how much the Obamas love each other, but also remind us why we love them as well. Number 10. Essence Magazine Cover As the Obama era came to a close, Essence Magazine decided to send the couple off with a photo shoot and a discussion of their legacy. While the photos would have us believe that they're looking at one another as if they're the only two people in the room, Michelle eventually spilled the beans on the truth behind the shoot. Apparently, Barack doesn't have too much patience for photo shoots, and Michelle was just trying to keep him in line. If she hadn't told us, though, we'd be none the wiser. Barack is horrible in photo shoots because, and I hate doing photo shoots with him, so I'm sure right there I was saying, would you just be patient and stop? Don't rush the photographer. It's like, yeah, I think we got the shot. Can I go? Can I go? And it's like, no, you can't go. Number nine, a couple in Chicago. In 1996, photojournalist Mariana Cook interviewed this young couple as part of a project she was working on that looked at couples in America through a photographic lens. Then in 2009, The New Yorker gave us an insight into what the couple revealed while taking part in this project. It's an adorable read that shows how they've always had each other's backs. It's incredible to think that, at this point, the White House was just a distant dream. But one thing's for sure, from the very beginning, they were a perfect match and an unbreakable team. Number 8. Dancing to Thriller Now, my understanding is, is that uh, we've been working on a little dance. We don't know how it's going to go. But we think we should all just try it anyway. What do you think? The couple that dances awkwardly together stays together. During the White House's Halloween celebration, the president and first lady announced they'd prepared a little dance routine to Michael Jackson's Thriller. The only thing that's really scary about it is how unprepared they actually are. Nevertheless, they deserve bonus points for effort and working together to engage the kids in the festivities. It's not the best example of the Obamas getting their groove on, but you know what they say, for better or for worse. Number 7. When Michelle Made a Valentine's Day Playlist There is nothing more old school than using a mixtape to tell someone how you feel about them. Nevertheless, Michelle brought the mixtape into 2018 by creating a Valentine's playlist on Spotify for her husband. Adorably called Forever Mine, it contains 44 songs, including John Legend's All of Me, Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance With Somebody, and the ultimate throwback, Etta James At Last. But more on that later. Each carefully chosen song gives us quite a bit of insight into the Obama's relationship, making us wonder why mixtapes ever went out of style. Number 6. Talking About Their First Date There's nothing more heartwarming than watching the Obamas reminisce about their first date. Actually, we spent the whole day together. Uh, he was showing me all facets of his okay. character. Barack showed off his cultural side by taking Michelle to the Art Institute of Chicago and having lunch in the courtyard before hitting the theater to catch a showing of Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. We didn't have dinner, we actually had lunch. Oh, we had lunch at, at the, the Art Institute. Institute. There's That's a little right. courtyard. With yeah. a little fountain. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. It's so sweet to watch their eyes light up as they talk. And the way Barack looks at his wife while she's speaking shows us they don't just have a spark. They have a whole fireworks display. Yes. And then we went to see uh, Do the Right Thing. Spike Lee. Mm -hmm. It just come out. It so just come out. Showed all the sides. He was hip, cutting edge, cultural, sensitive. The fountain, nice touch. The walk, patient. Take tips, gentlemen. Number five when Michelle revealed the moment she knew she was in love. Finding the one might sound kind of cheesy, but when it comes to the Obamas, we just can't get enough. We were starting a date, and he took me to one of the trainings he was doing with a, a group of single-parent mothers on the south side of Chicago. Michelle takes us back to their pre-political days when Barack was a community organizer helping single mothers in Chicago's south side. 
His passion and enthusiasm as he spoke about improving the world struck Michelle, and the rest, as they say, is history. He gave a speech and he talked about the world as it is and the world as it should be, and the notion that we're always fighting for the world as it should be. Mind you, she can't resist one little jibe at her husband who doesn't seem to remember to put his shoes away at the end of the day. But hey, that's true love. This guy's different, you know? So it was at that training that I sort of thought, I could be with somebody who, you know, cares so deeply about other people and is willing to make the sacrifices. So thank you for taking me down memory lane so when he doesn't put his shoes up tonight, I'll remember, oh, that's why I love you. <laughs> Number four, reading Valentine's poetry on Ellen. If the Obama's relationship were a fairy tale, Ellen DeGeneres would be their fairy godmother. When the pair was apart for Valentine's Day in 2016, Ellen helped Michelle get her Valentine's message to Barack with a special poem that leaves you unsure where to go, ah, or burst out laughing. Somebody call the Situation Room, because things are about to get hot. For someone who's apparently been surprised, Barack came prepared and has an equally sweet and hilarious poem of his own to deliver. This is the definition of relationship goals, as they don't take themselves too seriously and there is plenty of love to go around. I'm gonna make you some zucchini bread. <laughs> then I'll spread out some veggies on a plate, just the way you like them. Number three, when they shared their love on social media. Because today, we have been married for 25 years. The Obamas are arguably the most relatable couple to have ever entered the White House, and their social media accounts prove they're just like us. Birthdays, Valentine's Day, Father's Day, or wedding throwbacks, there's a tweet or Instagram post to mark every occasion. On top of that, Barack left Michelle a heartfelt video message when duty prevented them from celebrating their 25th anniversary together. It's no wonder that as people got to know you the way that I got to know you, that they fell in love. Whether the message is funny or cute, these posts encompass how down to earth this power couple is. And that's why we love them. It is truly the best decision that I ever made to uh, be persistent enough asking you out for a date that you finally gave in. Number two, when Barack thanked Michelle in his final speech. Michelle? In his last speech as POTUS, Obama got emotional when he started to thank Michelle for everything she had done for their family and the country over the years. For the past 25 years, you have not only been my wife and mother of my children, you have been my best friend. Even he becomes overwhelmed by the love in the room as he struggles to hold back tears. He thanks her for being a wonderful role model and for graciously taking on a job she didn't ask for. You took on a role you didn't ask for and you made it your own with grace and with grit and with style and good humor. His words are bound to leave you with goosebumps, showing us just how much they love each other and reminding us why we love Team Obama. And you have made the country proud. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Bar Barack has two smiles, you know, for a photo. It's like this smile or this smile. <laughs> Number one, their first dance as POTUS and FLOTUS. Oh, yeah. when you smile, you smile. Oh, and then spells cast. Let's set the mood. Barack Obama has just become president. Beyonce is singing Etta James at last, and the new first couple is about to hit the dance floor. It's like something out of a fairy tale, with the promise of a happily ever after not far off into the future. When they look at each other, it's like there's no one else in the room. He might just have become the leader of the free world, but around his wife, he still gets weak in the knees. My heart was wrapped up in clover. The night I looked at you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.